Hi, welcome to session two of your Arena Wild Tribe Outdoor Learning Session. I'm Jenny the Jackdaw and this is Hector the Hedgehog. Can you remember what your name was from session one? Remember it had to start with the same name, same letter or same sound as your name and an action to go with it. Have a go, have a go with your family. Can you also remember the Wild Tribe walls? Look after yourself look after each other and look after the environment and stay safe. I hope you enjoyed the bug hunt from last time and that you found lots of interesting things. I asked you to find out how many legs a wood mouse has. Did any of you do it? That's right, it has 14. It has seven legs on each side. So you could do seven add seven. I've counted seven on one side and there's seven on the other side, equals 14. Or you could do two times seven equals 14. 14 legs. Today we're going to be linking our session again to our world and to science. We're going to be thinking about habitats. What is a habitat? A habitat is somewhere where you feel safe, you have shelter, and you can find food and water nearby. So my habitat is my house, it's my home. Okay, I've got food and water there, I've got shelter, I feel safe and I feel protected. What's yours, Hedgehog? My habitat is a, is, um, a burrow and I put lots of sticks and leaves in it to shelter under so that when I want to have a sleep, I'm nice and cosy. Oh, that sounds really good. Can I also say that you called my my spike, you call them my, the things I've got on my back spikes, but in fact they're called quills. Oh, sorry Hedgehog, I didn't know that. I've learnt something new today. So let's have a think about some of the habitats of the animals that you found, the mini beasts you found last time. The habitat of a worm, that's right, in the soil or the earth. The habitat of a wood louse. The clue is in the name. It loves being under wood or between the bark of a tree and the rest of the wood in the tree. A spider, of course, it's their web. Can you guess what animal this habitat is for? It's a ball of straw with a hole in the middle. It's for a dormouse, a small little mouse, which hibernates in there in the winter. So just to start, before we talk more about habitats, we're gonna have a little warm up. I want you to find a quiet space outside if you have an outdoor space, maybe when you're going on a walk or sitting by an open window in your house. And we're going to say a little rhyme that goes like this. Close your eyes and count to three and woodland listeners, we will be one, two, three. Shh. So I'm going to say that again and I want you to join in with me. And when we say shh, I want you to listen to the sounds that you can hear in nature. So Hedgehog is going to do it with me. Close your eyes and count to three and woodland listeners, we will be one, two, three. Shh. And open your eyes. What did you hear? What did you hear Hedgehog? I heard a wood pigeon, which is a bird, um, and I heard other birds as well. So did I. Oh, I can just now, I can hear a cuckoo. I don't know if you can hear that on the camera, but cuckoos tend to come out in the middle of April. We suddenly hear them and it's such a lovely sound because you know that the nicer weather is arriving. I could also hear a little whir of a wind turbine, which isn't far away from here. Okay, so where, if we think about the habitat of the birds that we've heard, what is it? That's right, it's their nest. And that's what we're going to make today. We're going to make a bird's nest. So what you need is a plastic container with a little bit of soil in or earth in. Make sure you ask an adult before you dig it up. You need some grass or some preferably dried grass um, that you can put in and cut up or um, some straw or hay, a little bit of water and if you can find some, some moss to make it nice and comfortable in the middle of their, of, of their nest. So I'm going to use some scissors and I'm going to cut up, I'm going to cut up the um, grass and put it 
in the pot. Okay, nice and quickly, cut it up. Alright, I might put a little bit of straw in as well, but again I'm going to cut it up so it's nice and small and mix it in. If you think about a bird making their nest, what do they make it with? They make it with their beaks. And before I go any further, I've got a couple to show you. Here's a bird's nest, which I found in a hedge. It's a very old one. Never take a bird's nest out that is being used. And you can see it's made of moss, some sticks, some mud. It's even got um, some sheep's wool because I actually live on the moor. And I've got another one here. I can see that how that is really made of mud. This belongs to a swallow. And inside it's got some little bits of dry grass. If you think of a bird making that, they would fly down to the ground, pick up a bit of mud, take it up to the tree, put it in the tree, fly down again, and then get another piece. That's such hard work. We've got two hands to use for ours. So I've got a stirring stick, going to mix it all up, and then I need to add a little bit of water. And this is a tricky bit, not to add too much so it's too gloopy. Okay, so um, I've got my water bottle. I'm going to add a little bit of water, mix it up again, a bit like making a mud pie, Ooh, I think I might have made that a bit too watery, if you do make it too watery then just add some more mud or a little bit of moss or more straw so it's easier. I'm going to add lots of moss around this area so I'm going to add a bit of moss in mine, try and soak up a bit more grass, soak it all up. Okay, so I've got a nice pile of mud. Take that big bit of straw out. And then comes the best bit, getting your hands all dirty. Okay, pick it up. Make it into a ball, like that. And then dip your fingers in the middle to make that nice little bit for the birds to sit in. You can make it big, you can make it small. You could add sticks if you wanted. And then if you've got found some moss, I just rake this up in my garden because I've got rather a lot of moss in my garden. You can put it in the middle to make it nice and um, soft for the bird. I'm going to go and put this in a tree now and I'm going to show you a little bit later exactly where it is. So I'm going to put it in the fork of a tree where the tree goes like that so it's a nice safe place for it. You don't want to put a nest on the ground because um, the birds might, um, other animals might come and try and attack the birds. Okay, I'm just wiping my hands, which are rather muddy now, on a bit of moss. And then we're going to go on to the next thing, which is giving them some food to eat. So what do birds eat? Of course they eat worms. You could always try and find some worms and put them in the nest. But we're going to make some other. They also eat fat balls, don't they, and bird seed. So I've got some lard, which is fat. It looks like butter, but very white. Not as tasty as butter. You wouldn't really want to eat it. Um, I've got some bird seed. You can't find, I haven't got any lard, but you've got some peanut butter, preferably peanut butter without salt and sugar in. Um, then you can use that. And if you haven't got bird seed, maybe you've got some seeds in your cupboard and you need a stick. So, or a fir cone will do. I've got a piece of string, I'm going to fold it in half, put the folded end there, okay? And then I'm going to tie a knot, like a shoelace knot, to keep it, the string tightly on the stick. So I'm going to put it between my legs, and I'm going to do a reef knot. It doesn't have to be a reef knot, but a reef knot stays quite still. So, left over right and under, pull it tight, right over left and under and pull it tight. You can always Google it. And I'm going to do another reef knot at the top to make a loop so I can hang it in the tree. Left over right and under, right over left and under. Okay, so I've got it on the loop. Then I'm going to get a little bit of lard, which is very sticky. doesn't matter that your hands are dirty already. Smooth it round stick 
all the way around and then dip that stick in the seed. It's all covered and it looks like a seed lollipop, but you wouldn't want to eat it. I don't think we'd find it that tasty. And then we're going to hang it in the tree next to the nest. So I'm going to take you with me and bring Hedgehog to help. Over to the tree. You can see my nest. Okay, with the moss in. And I made another one of food earlier. I'm going to hang this one in as well. So it's got two pieces of food. So I hope you enjoyed the session um, and that you have a go at making a nest at home. I'm sure you can find some things if you're out on the walk. But stay safe. Remember to tell your adults that are looking after you. And I'll see you next time. So it's goodbye from Hedgehog and it's goodbye from me. Stay safe. Goodbye.